Hi everyone, I'm Kirsten McCormick and this is an intro to maximal expansive breathing or strength training for your respiratory system. So go ahead and come into a comfortable either seated position or supine position on your back and then just settle in there. So whatever feels most comfortable for you. I do recommend if you are new to a breathwork practice to choose laying on your back. It allows you to get a little bit more comfortable and start to feel more of the sensations that are happening internally in your rib cage. So settle in wherever you are. And this is a four part breath series. So we're gonna start with some gentle, soft diaphragmatic breathing for the first two minutes. And then we'll move on to maximal expansive inhales. So maximal breaths in with a reflexive breath out. So just deep breathing in and then open mouth, exhale. So just whatever you need to do to get that breath out. The third breath will be a maximal breath out. So pushing all of that air out of your lungs, out of your abdomen, and then a reflexive breath in. So just gathering up whatever you need to just get some oxygen in your body. And then the last round will be a maximal breath in and a maximal breath out. And we will do some breath holds at both the top of the max inhale and at the bottom of the max exhale after we've done each of those rounds. So really stressing and testing your diaphragm, your pelvic floor, and your lungs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Deep breath in. Let's do a four count in on your inhale. And a long exhale, think six to eight counts. And deep, full breath in, four count. And full, long exhale. The longer, the better. And continuing with this diaphragmatic breath, and I'm going to give you something to think about. Our diaphragm sits in our rib cage like a net. So it wraps all the way around front, back, and to the side. And as we inhale, that diaphragm contracts and flattens and it drops down into our abdomen away from the upper rib cage. And then as we exhale, that diaphragm relaxes and it lifts up back into the rib cage to help expel air out of the lungs. So as we inhale, the diaphragm contracts and drops down. And as we exhale, the diaphragm relaxes and lifts up. And then the pelvic floor actually moves in sync with the diaphragm. So as we inhale and that diaphragm contracts and drops down, the pelvic floor relaxes and drops down. And then as we exhale and that diaphragm relaxes and lifts up, the pelvic floor contracts and lifts up. So they move together. Inhale, they both drop down. Exhale, they both lift up. So visualize that as you inhale and exhale, the moving in sync. And so wherever you are in your breath, we're going to take a few more rounds. Full inhale, four count, long, slow exhale. And we're going to move into our maximal expansive inhales. So take one more round, deep breath in, long, slow exhale out, full inhale, maximal breath in, feel the ribs expand, feel that diaphragm and pelvic floor drop down, feel really full, stress and test that end point of your inhale, and then reflexive breath out. Maximal breath in. Feel really full, expand, soften the shoulders at the same time. Reflexive breath out. Maximal breath in, expand, diaphragm drops down, pelvic floor relaxes. Holding and stressing and testing at that end point. Reflexive out. Maximal breath in, we're halfway there. Reflexive out, <sighs> maximal breath in, get as full as you can. How much air and oxygen can you get into the lungs? Reflexive out, <sighs> maximal breath in, feel your rib cage move out to the side like an accordion. Reflexive out, <sighs> last breath, maximal breath in, reflexive out, <sighs> 
Maximal breath in, we're holding this one. Gather up as much air as you can. Feel as full as you can. Try and drink in a little bit more breath and hold. So as we do this breath hold, the body's alarm systems are going to get set off. So as we stop breathing naturally, involuntarily, our body recognizes that and it starts sending off these alarm bells, right? And that's because carbon dioxide is rising in the body as oxygen is lowering, which you actually have enough oxygen in your system right now to maintain and hold this breath for minutes but it's our brain and our alarm system that are telling us that we can't. So try and override that as best you can. You have 10 more seconds. It's okay if you've already had to take your breath. Five, four, three, two, let the air out. Nice work. Big breath in, maximal inhale, and maximal exhale. Pushing all of that breath out until you feel completely empty. Feel the core engage. Feel the pelvic floor lift. Diaphragm lift. Reflexive breath in, just to get enough air in. Maximal breath out, pushing all of that air out of your body, out of the lungs. Reflexive breath in, we're halfway there. Maximal breath out, push the air, feel empty. Stress and test the bottom of your exhale. Push it all out, reflexive in, a couple more. Maximal exhale, pushing the breath out, feel completely empty. Reflexive in, last one. Maximal breath out, pushing it all out. Empty, 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 reflexive in. Maximal breath out and we're holding this one. Keep pushing the air out, find your end point where you have nothing left in your system and hold. So those alarm systems are gonna go off faster than when we were holding our breath in. Know that you still have plenty of oxygen in your body to hold this position and to hold that breath out. You're halfway there. Do your best to maintain this as long as you can. Fight as far as you can. And each time you do this, you're just trying to get better and better and hold that breath longer. It's the intent that matters, not how long you actually hold it. Good, keep breathing, soften the shoulders, relax your jaw, relax your eyes. Find somewhere in the body that you can soften. 10 more seconds if you can. You're doing great. Hold, five, four, three, two, deep breath in. Maximal breath out. Feel completely empty. Maximal breath in, holding at the top. Maximal breath out, full exhale, feel completely empty. We're doing max in and max out. Maximal breath in, feel the diaphragm and pelvic floor drop down, feel the belly expand, ribs expand. Maximal breath out, pushing all the air out of your lungs. Feel the diaphragm and pelvic floor lift. Maximal breath in, expand, get wide, keep those shoulders soft. Maximal breath out, let all the air out of the lungs, out of the system, engage through the belly, hug your spine. Couple more rounds of breath, maximal breath in, expand, get full. Maximal breath out, completely empty, let it all out, press more than you think you can. Last one, maximal breath in, gather it up, let it be your fullest breath of the day. Maximal breath out, let every ounce of air out of your body, completely empty, and then deep breath in. Out through the mouth, exhale. Again, deep breath in. Out through the mouth, exhale. And just pausing a moment to feel the shifts. Observe the body. Observe the mind. And you might even have this slight euphoric sensation in the body. Allow yourself to be still and to soften.
And you can stay here as long as you'd like, softening in, just allowing yourself to be with your breath. And just like anything, breath can be trained. So continue to do this maximal expansive breathing just like you would any sort of strength training for the physical body. Thank you for breathing with me.